what's up guys yo welcome back to my channel this is as graphics in case you're joining me for the first time please i do recommend you subscribe to my channel and put on the notification bell so you get notified if i post new content on youtube without any further ado let's just go straight to this tutorial i'll be teaching you how you can save export and share a pop file pop file just like psd in photoshop and cdr file in coral draw so that when you're shared other designers can just view your work all right so let's just go straight to this i i'll be sharing with you this particular folder i'm going to show you two ways i did a first video where some people actually testified that it worked for them some it didn't work especially when you're using um, this i guess is the newer version yeah the newer version of, of pixel lab it's not working but i'm going to show you how even though with the newer version you can still export so this is my project i've saved it already so what you need to do is first this i typed i think named it by Messi. so you can just just come here come to this open plp this okay my then i'll come to this share this i yeah share i'll just click on it so you see saved it is saved as a plp file then i'll just come to file manager then i'll go to where it is saved i'll go to i'll come to internal storage then i'll go to pxz so you can see it here messy dot plp all right so i'm going to delete it from here Let me come here. Let me delete it here. Let me open this project. So the messy is no longer here. But one thing about Pixel Lab is that I just noticed it. Whenever I even I see I delete a work from that this particular place, I won't be able to see it again. I won't be able to see it again. But when I come to my preset, I'll still see the you can see it. This is it. It is still there. You still be able to see it. It works. So uh, okay, now I have deleted this. So for example, probably somebody shared this file with you. On let me just let me copy this. Probably the person shared it to you on, on WhatsApp or through Zender or whatever. So you, all you just need to do is locate where the person sent it to. Okay, let me just try and um come to v media okay um this is i use whatsapp business in whatsapp and okay documents and paste it here so it is here messy so this is what i'm gonna do let me just okay i'll just come here open plp then i'll just click on this plp and i'll go to android remember i'll save it as I'll, I'll click on this arrow then click on android media whatsapp for business and click on this click on it and i'll come to documents so you can see i have some here some plp files here so i'll just click on this messy open and hard so when you open it only you'll just be able to open it you'll be able to save but when i click open and hard it's going to save here among the project i'm having and it's also going to open but if i just click open only it's just going to open it won't save right so let's okay let me just click open only now so you can see here i can i can still locate the same option here you can see it is not here but when i just come and save uh, let, let me just save this M E S S I. You can see because the, the, for this thing to bring out the names out, means that means is still there. Now I showed you then that it was saved there. So if I click, you say if I want to overwrite it, I'm overwriting it because it only deleted from this my POP option, but the folder was still there. I say okay. 
now when I come to this project right so I'm not seeing it now I'm not seeing it now okay let me just go back to my um um let's go to pixel app presets and let me just delete these two okay so when I come here and um and I says I see it's not more bringing the option messy uh, because I've deleted it from there so when I click here so you can you're not seeing it here messy Alright, so this is one way you can save your project. So another way is, I'll show you this one. You just try this one in case the first one did not work for you. This will definitely work. So I will just delete this here. So this is of no use. Okay, let me just no is of no use. I'll come to presets now. This may see. No, okay. I will not advise you to delete it from the Pixel Lab menu first i want to advise you to delete it from there first because in case your own now now deletes from here and see ah, this is what actually you like so just follow this process first before deleting the reason i deleted it is because i'm trying to install it back on this my pixel app so i'll just click on this messy now let me just move it let me okay let me come to um a particular document a folder that is not full okay let me just paste it here now this is the messy folder now if you can send a folder you can actually send the folder to some people but you can see here i can't share it or i can i can't share because it's a folder so the best thing to do is if you can use zender fine zender can actually share a folder then all you just need to do is just come here move the folder come to we'll try and locate pixel app come to preset and you paste it there but in case you don't have that one now we'll just come to where did we save this thing again all right so this is it messy now I'll go to this application z archiver if you don't have it download it from the play store Z archiver okay um so i'll just locate this v3 where i saved it so i'll just click long click on it i can come to compress to zip then it's going to be very very fast you can see it is already compressed as you can see it is in kilobytes 690 Point three, but this is not what I want to do. Okay, I can still do that one anyway, but this is what I want to do. In case probably I want to share it here on on on, on what on YouTube. So I'll just come to compress. Okay, look at this is it. By default, yours may not be in ZIP. Yours may not be, okay. I just click on something now to change the location to change so you may not be in zip you may be in ra look at so these are various ways you can save if you may be in z but i just choose zip some use array r ra some use ra yours may be in ra but i'm using zip so this do i want to delete the source that is this main source if i click on it that folder that i'm compressing is going to delete after i finish compressing but this one now um that's why i don't want to delete it that's why i just clicked on it so this one now i'm going to input the password remember d d d d 4d i can even put just 3ds so that will be the password when i click on it okay anybody that wants to make use of this open this pop file is going to ask for password extract here so. rename so see it's rec rename because i'm having one here already that's why it's asking for password so okay now let's let's just come back to my 
pixel lab come to presets now the messy is no longer there let's come to pixel lab now you can see this messy design is no longer here i can trace it it's no longer here it's no longer in my saved work so what do i do all i just need to do is come to okay come to z archiver this is the file someone sent to you probably on on whatsapp whatsapp business the same way we use in moving it to so we just need to do just to okay click on this extract to no 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 i'll click on this extract now look at this arrow notice pay attention the way this arrow changed okay so then i'll just come to um just bear with me for this i uh, just i just noticed something okay now okay so this arrow once i clicked on that extract notice this arrow changed okay, what it changed to means i can go and extract it some way all i just need to do is click on this option come to pixel lab come to presets you extract so if someone sent it to you there or you decide to send it to someone there so that is how the person can actually do it so when you you extract it's going to ask for the password you know we use this i can view the password with this d d d okay no thanks now see this messy yeah so now let's go to pixel lab okay let me close my pixel lab and open it again now since i just use this same process now let me just cancel this new wow it's not here okay Bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Okay, um, should be all right. So let's this, let's do this. Mercy. Wow. All right. So this is what we're gonna do. is actually giving me this headache while I'm recording it so okay um information no, it, sh it shouldn't be up to this size it shouldn't be up to this size probably it's because I actually deleted it first okay now let's just try another one let's just try and down probably it's because i actually deleted the um the project files before i saved it so let me just come to recover auto save and hopefully i can just bring everything out See, I can't get back the messy project again. Now it's gone. What? Never mind. So I'll I'll just get um one of this job here. I mean this anti solar project. Okay, we'll use it instead. So this is what we're gonna do. Come to Pixel Lab. Now you now see the advantage of you deleting before before you deleting it from there before um before you deleting it from pixel lab before before moving it from here so you see oh you see how this one is loaded that one was just few because i've actually deleted like the entire okay now look at this information about 37 megabytes but that one was in kilobytes okay now this is what we're gonna do i'm just looking for one that is not that 
much less okay let's just try and okay now probably you you're the person you now compress this gd and use ddd -D. that's the password okay now so all right so this is it so you, you just cut and you just come here to okay where did we save it then probably the person actually send it to you through zender or whatsapp let me use my other whatsapp so let me come to my database okay let's just come to document and i'll just paste it here probably the person sent it to me here so this is what i'm gonna do all right so um what's the name of the file what's the name of the file gd okay this is it this is the work gd now it's no longer here and let's go to pixel lab and check the the um the name of the the pro folder now let's come here to this mess is no longer useful you can see wow for a reason or two it's, it's still here all right so this is it's still here but so what what was the problem with the messy anyway but this is how you're going to do it you delete this it's no longer there now i'm deleting it because i'm installing it on my own pixel lab so you don't need to delete your own in case you want to send it to people me i'm just trying to make it tutorial and i'm trying to install it for you guys to see so if you're sending it to somebody you don't need to delete yours or you just need to zip and send it to the person while still keeping your own data if the, if, all right so um you can see gd is no longer here okay so all i need to do is now to click on click on this extract come to here come to here this tabs has also has disappeared again come back come back come back come back then i'll go to pixel lab come to presets then extract so it's gonna ask for password this is a d d d all right so this is it so now let's go to pixel lab and see the goodness of god now you can see the gda has appeared again so i actually don't know why the first one disappeared the messy disappeared but mm, that's all so this is how you can send install and extract a plp file so all you just need to just come here zip your whatsoever now you may not put password on it you just come here compress to zip you can see both and this is the main file this is the zipped one so you can just share the zip file to the person either on on, on whatsapp or whatever platform you want to send it to and the person will just open it also come here and extract it to his, his or her preset and the person all you just need the person you just need to do is just to close his or her pixel lab and open it again all right so that's all for this particular tutorial i hope you've you gained value sorry i, I did he gained value so the best thing is for you just to avoid that messy error that i did that i exhibited now the file is you see my my designs are not much because i stopped using pixel lab i mainly use photoshop now but i just use pixel lab once in a while once in a while so um so that's all for this tutorial please do not forget to subscribe to my channel but i hope this one should be useful for everybody and i will see you in the next video cheese